Welcome to Visual Impact, I'm Paul Brown, uh, Sales Manager for Visual Teddington, uh, and welcome to our live streaming event with Roland today. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce both Chris and Simon from Roland, who's going to answer some questions uh, in a little bit that we've received over email. Uh, but first of all, I'd like to ask Simon first uh, to give a brief overview of why Roland have expanded into the video market, and then Chris can follow up with what we've seen this morning and some of the products. So, Simon, yeah, Thank you, Paul. Uh, so why have we entered the video market? It's a, a great question to ask us. Um, I think probably from our history we, we started with, uh, obviously music products was our biggest area of our growth over the last 40 years. And about 10 years ago our founder, Iki, Iki Hari, Takahashi, decided that uh, we should look at the video sphere of our business. Um, but actually the reason we entered the video business is because we're all about live and it's about being able to bring two areas of live entertainment together, that being uh, audio, which is what we're very good at doing, and then bringing video in to inspire people to be creative with our products and produce live performances mm -hmm. which are able to be encapsulated for both audio and video. So, um, yeah, if we just did audio only, it would only be 50% of the story for why we're in the live sector. Uh, video brings the other side of the business together and the, the fact that you've got the two gives a very strong story to, to our brand and is able to bring both areas of the market together uh, and both areas of entertainment, visual and audio into one area which is why we're, we're here at this uh, junction of being able to divide video equipment to end users. Okay, great, that's great, thanks so much. Chris, would you like to sort of give an overview of what we've seen this morning uh, and what, uh, what the, the attendees um, played with, first of all. Yes, thank you, Paul. Um, yes, so, so today was really all about how we brought the audio and video together, as Sam was explaining, in the VR technology for, for live streaming. And um, we've been able to show people here today the new V4EX, which is the four-channel uh, HDMI input uh, streaming mixer. But most noticeably, um, the, the new VR50, which is the unit we have here, uh, the VR50 HD is due with us in November, it's a, a sneak preview, almost exclusive for uh, visual impact customers here in the UK and features a lot of the um, HD SDI input capability, full HD output capability as well as full HD streaming and that's a bit of a world first in an integrated unit uh, at, at, this, um, at this level. Um, so we've been able to overview all of the, all of the range of products, demonstrate uh, web streaming demonstrate the simplicity of using one device for um, audio and video. Excellent. Thank you very much. I think some of the feedback we've had today is that how easy web streaming can actually be and certainly using the Roland product has made that completely simple and, and easy to access very, very quickly. So I think it's a, it's a nice product range. Okay guys, we've got, uh, we've got some questions that have come through from email, yeah, so if, uh, if you can stand these questions quick fire around, okay? Um, so uh, Chris in Manchester emailed in with two questions about the V800HD. So the first question is, will it, will it ever have the ability to pass through audio through SDI? Well, well firstly, this is, this is bound to be Chris Pearson at LAS in Manchester, and uh, uh, hi Chris if you're, uh, if you're watching the stream. Um, the answer to this will be, uh, to this point is unfortunately no, we're vision only on the V800HD. Okay. Um, I could use a converter and de-embed the audio from the SDR. So, Chris, what you need is one of these. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so the next question is, uh, uh, this is Chris's second question. Can you rename the inputs so the preview screens can display your own text instead of using the defaults? Yes, absolutely. Um, Chris, if you go exploring in the menus, uh, you'll see on the system menu there is a section where not only can you pick uh, all of the uh, inputs, you can also choose whether or not those input names are displayed or not. So uh, yes, you can you can customise those in the menus and you can um, alpha and um, numerics uh, to, to, to name all the channels. As well as actually uh, reposition the cross points as well, if that's something that's required. Okay, that's, a, that's a really good point because not, not everybody wants 1 to 8 uh, in the sequence 1 to 8. So cross points is really, really important. Yeah, Thanks very much. easy to do. Good. There is a footnote here from Chris as well. It says, thanks, lovely mixer, by the way. So thanks so much, Chris, <laughs> Thank you, for, Chris. Uh, Thank you, Chris. For, your, uh, for your question. Okay, next one is Simon from London. Um, this is an interesting question. What is the distance you can have the cameras away from the system? Mm. 
yeah, interesting question, and it depends very much on the format that you're using, of, of course. course. So, uh, in, in, in broad terms, I think HDMI, uh, I, I guess we're looking at about 10 meters, is about the distance. Um, with um, SDI, uh, HDSDI, I guess 70, 60, 70 meters? Uh, yes, HDSDI will travel up to 75 meters. Okay. Uh, but it, again, it depends on your device, your, your camera mm -hmm. device that you're using, as well as the, the receiving device, whether it will actually clock 75 meters is questionable. Okay. Also depends on the quality of the cable in many instances. Okay, Simon, so there's a sort of an answer there for Simon, but if you've got some more questions, Simon, if you can give us more information, please do email back in again, mm -hmm. and we'll try and answer the question back to you via email. Um, Nick from London. Um, is there a direct streaming output on V4EX? Yes, there is. Um, so V4EX is a four-channel mixer with HDMI connectivity. Um, it has a, a number of different resolutions. It has local outputs and it has the stri direct streaming output. So it will output USB class audio and video and allow you to connect it to a computer to bring the audio and video uh, stream together for, for live streaming. Okay. Yes. Okay, brilliant. Um, Brian in Bristol is using a PC slash software based system just as reliable. Yeah, loaded <laughs> question. Loaded, loaded question. question. <laughs> uh, purely depends on what it is, I guess. Um, it's like anything software driven products. You're highly reliant on the PC infrastructure that you're using. If that PC is badly put together, you are running the risk of something going wrong. Uh, like anything, the more you spend on equipment, more alive than it should be. But yeah, loaded question loaded really. Question. <laughs> yeah. My take for Brian is that the, the advantage of the Roland products for live use is that you've got um, you've got um, specific function based uh, design. So it's designed to start up quickly, um, it's designed to be applied in application very quickly and it's designed to be able to navigate around the various options very quickly. Um, with a computer, it's designed for multiple functions, and we all know and get very frustrated with how long it takes to reboot a number of different computers on the market. So I think all of those things would have to be factored into that live perspective. And uh, if some of those things aren't important, then then the, mm -hmm. the, the boot times will be fine. But yeah, let's Brian contact Teddington Sales. Let's talk more about uh, about your application <laughs> and what Absolutely. what running product can suit your needs. <laughs> okay, Tom from London again. Is there HD output? Now that's an interesting one, I think. That's a good one. We've got, we've got a range of standard definition products, SD, and we've got a range of HD high definition products. And, and high definition can mean different things to different people. When we talk about HD, we talk about full 1080p. Uh, we talk about the full, um, full resolution capability of HD. And um, we have products like um, the VR50HD, which we're previewing here today which is an integrated AV web streaming mixer, uh, which will feature full HD. Um, we have uh, vision mixers like the V40 HD and the V800 HD, which are again full HD vision mixers and uh, will allow you to scale inputs and outputs to, to, to um, suit a variety of different applications. Um, so uh, if you're looking, for example, at the VR3 or the VR5, the answer is no. Um, but if you're looking at the V4EX, then the answer is partly yes. And then there are the full, the full definition mixes after that. So, uh, in, in simple terms, there's a range of HD output mixes Absolutely. that you have available. Yeah. It's again down to the application of... of and the specific product. product. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. And one of the terms that we use is multi-format, meaning that we can accept any format as low as uh, standard definition, all the way through all the formats up to HD um, at a 50p uh, resolution frame, so yeah, we cover most of, most of the bases that people look for. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, Mark in the Midlands, on the VR5, is the encoder built in? No. <laughs> simple uh, answer, simple answer to that is no. Uh, you will need a software encoder, uh, such as Adobe Flash Live Media Encoder, or uh, Ustream, or Wirecast, or any of these uh, types of uh, supported encoders you can use. Um, but yes, the answer is no to that. Okay. Uh, Stephen London, a question about the R5 again. What is the bit rate on the USB for PAL output? 
Yes, so bit rate is 2 megabits per second that's lowest, up to 6 megabits per second that is highest. Okay, good, good simple answer. Um, David in London again, when is the VR50 HD available and how much? Uh -huh. That's the oh, question. Good question. Good question. question. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we're expecting it in November, uh, and um, I think uh, probably a conversation with your sales department near the time would probably uh, uh, answer the question about how much, but we expect it to be circa £6,000 thereabouts. Okay. Um, David, we'll keep in touch, and uh, once we get the formal price, and we'll, we'll come back to you and let you know straight away. Um, Colin from London, do you have phantom power on the mic inputs on the VR3 or the VR5? Yes, we do. Yeah. Um, uh, the good thing is our video heritage um, is, is, is evolving, but our audio heritage is long established, and when you come to mic inputs, um, we, 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 we understand all about the need for phantom power. It's all there. Yeah. Good, good. Um, James in Cardiff, I've read about the new range of converters. What makes them different from the converters I'm using currently? Ah, uh, good, yeah, thanks, uh, James, you say. James, um, yeah. Yeah, so the range of converters that we've brought to market, we actually only came, came last month, um, and we have covered HDMI to SDI, SDI to HDMI, a frame sync delay, which is a unique product in the market, and we will be launching in a couple of months' time a scan converter as well. Um, what's different about our products uh, is we looked at we looked very carefully at this market. The first thing we wanted to see was full 444 video processing with lossless quality. This means we could see textured blacks and whites in the in the in the uh, output. Uh, we also wanted something that was more ruggedized, where the connectors are actually bonded to the chassis or bolted to the chassis, um, and we wanted to be able to um, uh, embed audio and de-embed audio. Um, accordingly. In the case of the, the, the frame sync delay, we're able to adjust for both video and audio uh, by up to nine fields or four and a half frames. Um, and all of the devices are controllable by little dip switches on the front and also by software which is free and downloadable from our website. So these have just hit the streets. Um, so we, our main features are uh, lossless quality, uh, ruggedized quality and flexibility of use. Okay. Hopefully James answers your question. Um, they certainly look very nice, there's no doubt about that. So hopefully they, they, uh, that's answered your question in regards to what product you're using right now. I'm afraid we've run out of time uh, a little bit, but I'd like to thank Chris and Simon for their time. Um, yes, thank you. Now on the live streaming and also uh, for this morning's event. We are going uh, to have a second hands-on session this afternoon. It starts at 2 p.m. So if you are local and would still like to pop in, please do. Um, there is room uh, for you to come along. Um, and remember that all the attendees have the chance to win tickets to see the best music talent perform live at the famous Metropolis Studios in Chiswick as well. There'll be a prize draw at the end of the day. Um, so thanks ever so much again. Um, I hope you uh, I hope you've enjoyed the the live streaming. Uh, it really is this simple. It took uh, took Simon five minutes to set up and get us running live today. So uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thanks ever so much now. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay.